Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you again with yet another video. Today, I'm going to talk about that phrase, too good to be true. And in many ways, it's kind of like a follow-up or a part two to the video I did that many black women don't know what to do with a good man. And... You know, it's kind. Of, it's uh, I was kind of inspired to do this by uh, comments in one of my recent videos about uh, by some brothers, and they were saying, you know, they had heard the term "too good to be true," and I was like, damn. <laughs> I, you know, I've heard that a few times in my life from black women. You know, you know, I, I never heard it from me though, because I, I was a bad kid. But anyway, you know, I heard it a few times and um, a lot of people may not know because they don't go visit my blog or hit the archives. But I used to I used to actually write a blog. I still do. I do podcasts in place of the blog now. I just don't feel like writing as much now, you know, but I actually did a blog and it was called Too Good to Be true and uh, let me read something from that blog let me read the first a uh, few paragraphs and you know me I, I, I like to do the stories so anyway let me read this real quick for y'all all right I knew this cat back in the day I'll call Dave now Dave was an interesting individual because according to the media and popular sentiment he didn't exist Dave was a black man, which alone comes with a bunch of negative stereotypes. Dave, however, had other things going on for him that made him stand out. From a physical point of view, he was taller than average, being over six feet. He was also very muscular. I met him while working out at this particular gym. He was also athletic, as I had played ball with him on several occasions. And I saw a lot of his personality while playing ball. I remember one time a thug type tried to in intimidate him on the court. And Dave, him, and Dave gave him a look that said, nigga, I will fuck you up. Yeah, it was that type of look. It's hard for me to personally judge another man's face. But he did have a strong looking face, which many women tend to consider handsome. So someone reading this would, would say that an athletic buff black man is always promoted in the media. There's more to the mix, though. Dave was in graduate school working on a PhD, so he was certifiably intelligent. He was also very talented because he moonlighted as a DJ playing mixes at a local radio station. So I'm talking with this man one day, and it's typical with conversations with men who speak to each other consistently. The subject of women came up. I just knew Dave had a harem of women trying to lock him down. This is a muscular and intelligent black man, a thorough black man, back in the days when black women were complaining the loudest about a shortage of good black men. This was when Terry McMillan was at the height of her popularity and every other book by a female, black female author was following the waiting to exhale formula. On top of that, Dave was the first man I had ever met who didn't say anything negative about black women when they weren't around. This man sincerely loved black women, so I'm thinking they lined up for this brother. Nah. Dave told me that he had trouble getting a woman because they said he was too good to be true. In addition to his physical and mental attributes, he was a one-woman man. He had no interest in being a player. Years later, he would find a married woman who wasn't intimidated by him. He had a happy ending, but his example always stuck with me. Now, there's some other examples I use, and I, I use one about, you know, one that I used before in a video was an example of the brother who uh, look like the buff uh, Mike Malcolm X and I've, I mean I've heard that from a few women over the years too good to be true so hold up let me, let me, let's stop for a second all right so what I constantly hear black women complain about is let me say let me thank uh Brothers not being in shape. Yeah, I've heard them complain about that. You know, they say they want a brothers over six feet. You know, they say, you know, well, we're so educated. We want a brother on my level. Right. All right. So, you know, wait a minute. You're getting all this stuff. And then some of them say, yeah, OK, let's put this all back with uh, Dave. Right. 
So they they saying all this. So okay, wait a minute. I'm like, all right, this brother's tall. He's muscular. You know, he played ball. I've actually heard some sisters say, well, you know, they they like those ball players. All right, he was pretty good at it too. Um, he had some cool points. He could DJ. Working on a PhD. If they ain't on somebody's level, I don't know what the fuck he is. Oh, and then some women say they'll get with a thug because he can protect them. Yeah, I watched this man basically punk a thug on a basketball court. Like, without even, like, opening his mouth. So how the fuck is that too good to be true? Hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. And there's a lot of brothers like this. There's a lot of brothers clicking on all those cylinders like this, right? And interestingly enough, these brothers are rarely among the select men. Because usually what happens, usually what happens is women will find, look for a flaw. And if you look for a flaw in anybody, you're going to find it. You have a damn Rolls Royce. If you look for the flaw, you're going to find that scratch that's like, you know, under the passenger side door. You know, if you look for something, you're going to find it. That's, that's just a reality. So they'll find the flaw. And what will happen is the women will magnify that flaw. Like one of my favorites is, well, he's too serious. He don't smile a lot. Or, you know, or, you know, he, he, he don't, he don't look like, uh, he don't look like he can hang out, you know, have fun, let loose. And I'm like, what? But here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. And I'm, I'm going to be raw with this. A lot of black women know if they met a white man with those same attributes, They'll be like trying to have that dude's baby. And y'all know it. Don't don't even try to deny that shit. That shit would be celebrated, right? No, nah, but see, here's, here's the real issue. When a woman says a man is too good to be true, what she really saying is she ain't shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, thumbs down. Give me a thumbs down now. Just click it. All right? That's what she's saying. Because how the fuck you going to meet somebody who has the traits that you will go on national TV and say that you're looking for? Or go on, or you go up there and you say, well, I need somebody on my level. Then when you meet somebody, he's actually on your level and really, quite frankly, beyond. All of a sudden, you don't know what to do. That's why I say this video was is an extension of that, like, black men don't know what to do. I mean, black women don't know what to do with a good black man. That's what I'm, that, that's why I say it's an extension. Because what happens is women will get around. And I've seen this, you know, this tough love, sisters. All the sisters are listening, this is tough love. You will get around and constantly complain. I've heard this so many places, so many times, so many forums, so many dinner parties. You know, women will say, well, I got a degree, I got a house, or I got a job, I'm making so, such and such of money. There, there's no men on my level. Okay, we'll accept that. But then, when you meet a man on your level, how many of y'all have said he's too good to be true? Because that speaks to, one, that speaks to your expectation. Two, it, it says to me that once you present it with something, you don't know what the fuck to do. You know, you got that. And then, well, see, here's the here's the issue too. Sometimes it becomes a case of, you know, once that dude is on that level, or a level that's actually higher than a woman. You know, it exposes that maybe she's not all of that. It exposes her her weaknesses, because a lot of times when women do that whole you know on my level thing that's really a defense mechanism that's a sign of uh that's a sign of low self-esteem if you have to constantly talk about my level my level my level if you constantly have to do that because first of all that levels are uh, what, what does that level mean to who what do you, do you own the business you know but see, the whole thing is, you, I mean, you're presented with that man. 
and you think he's too good to be true so one another thing that tells me is you're saying all that to kind of justify why you were single because then you presented with that man and all of a sudden you know the people that you've been complaining to they say well he's right there now what then all of a sudden that's i'm gonna be honest a lot of women don't want to deal with that man because then they're gonna have to look in the mirror that's really what it is all y'all fellas listening to understand that you know take too good to be true to be a compliment because that woman is basically saying her self-esteem can't handle reality you know that's one of the reasons why a lot of women will mess with a man who's less than purposely you know because part of it is a control dynamic you know you can't control a man who got his shit together you can't lord her over him you don't have any leverage you know he's not going to put you on a pedestal you know you can't be like well i got my college degree and he can be like oh well yeah i'm um you know i'm studying for my phd or i have my jd getting my md shoot yeah some cats out there they would they got four and five degrees but see the woman can't she can't she can't deal with it then and see that that's a big problem i've seen in these relationship forms and dealing with all of this women complain they they complain that there's there's not, not enough good men you know or that men aren't on their level or men aren't educated okay if that's the case right that means every man who has those things that say you that uh you say you want they should have women coming out the wazoo yet many of them don't you know Many of them don't, even if they're conventionally handsome. So, you know, I said I was going to start doing shorter videos and stuff because, uh, you know, Rom got other things to do sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, for the brothers who've heard Too Good to Be True, uh, I'm tipping my chalice up to y'all. Seriously, raising it to y'all. That means you're doing something right. Think about it. I want y'all to think about that. You know, forget about what the women are doing and stuff. Like they need to look in the mirror right now. For the men, y'all doing something right. That means, and you need to keep going. And if you not, if that woman's intimidated by you, she ain't gonna do you no good anyway. So, like I've said in a video, it's like you know what. I said that in that uh, educated lane, one of the educated lane videos. It's not a bad thing if a woman like steps away from it because she's really saying that she will not be an asset to you. Because here's the thing. If a man got it going on and that woman does not have the esteem to deal with you, she's going to do whatever she can to sabotage your shit, to bring you down. In fact, y'all might even notice that. That's why, you know, someone, they, they meet somebody, and this ain't necessarily even a black thing. This, can, this happens across the board. I've seen this across the board. You see that man look like he got everything going on. So, they, you know, people automatically ratchet it up and say, well, there got to be something wrong with them. They looking for the flaw. And you can't really, you can't be in a relationship with a person like that because you ain't going to have any peace. You know, you, you, you could say it's like warm outside. She's looking for the flaw in that statement. It's like, Damn. You know, you could have a business plan or something, a plan to do something. She's looking for the flaw in it. Because she'll be like, oh, he can't be that perfect. You know? They'll think, oh, well, he's, there's got to be something. It's like, no, it ain't something. He just worked hard. Who's to say somebody can't be it, uh, who can't, you know, decide they want to play sports, get their bodies right, but then get their minds right? Who's to say that can't happen? You know, there's plenty. I'm going to tell you, there's men know this already. And it's for the women. There's a lot of brothers out there who really worked hard to be on all cylinders. I mean, they work hard, you know, to be on all cylinders. So, no, nah, forget out of that, like, low expectation having, um, you know, too good to be true thing. Because that's what it says. Yeah, for the women listening, that that's that that y'all really need to y'all really need to heed that, because what it's saying is you don't what you're really saying is you don't expect to get something that good, and that's what it is. It's nothing but projection. 
It's nothing but fear to even say something like that. So the women need to check themselves and look in the mirror why they would even look at somebody and say something like that. Fellas, like I said, if you hear it and a woman says it, run from that woman because she ain't ready. Look for the women out there. There's, uh, there's some women out there who checking for you. For the brothers who ain't trying to cross over, there's, there's some black women. They can handle it. They ready. They know what to do. You know, they might, you might be looking for them a little hard, but <laughs> it's better than putting up with some bullshit. You know, in the meantime, just keep working on yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. Look at it like this. If they saying you too good to be true, shoot. Work to be super good to be true. So, that's how we're going to deal with that. Anyway, y'all. That's it. <sighs> Man. Brother, it's college basketball season. So, you know, like I said, make these videos a little shorter. Because uh, I, I watch college basketball. I watch college basketball, so yeah, we got to holler later. Anyway, peace. <laughs>